This is part two of the video series for uh, introducing you to the configuration system. Um, in this one, we're going to focus on um, adding some extensions to um, one of the dashboards. So as you'll see here, this is the allergies dashboard. Um, now what we've done here is using the magic word add, we've added two opt by encounter widgets. These are reusable widgets. Same convention as with the nav groups above where we use hashtag and then we give it a name. So we are creating two, one called HIV and one called diabetes. These OBS by encounter essentially create tables where each row is an encounter and then each column is a um, concept. Um, so if there's an OBS with that concept, it will get a value for that row. Um, it's restricted right now to just using numerical values, so OBS that have a value numerical as, a, a, as the value. So we're just going to use a few examples from lab tests. So the way that um, this uh, configurable widget allows you to configure it is by giving it a title. So for now, we, it's called HIV widget, HIV, and then we just gave it a few um, concepts. So this goes in the da data array of this um, widget. So I'm going to just remove sodium because we're going to say that that's not actually a um, um, related HIV concept, at least for this demonstration. Um, you'll see now that this is def or I set it originally to 20 rows, but I'm going to change it to five. Okay. Um, we'll keep the diabetes one, so we're going to keep the sodium, but remove the viral load, and we're going to also make this five. All right, we're going to update. All right, and so now you can see that we have two new widgets that came out of nowhere, um, the HIV widget and the diabetes widget, and they have five, and it's just showing you the values of the viral load. Um, and this one has uh, sodium. So just as a next step, we're going to add back those. Mm, um, so we're going to add back sodium so that you can see what it looks like when there's two. Right, we don't need to do it to each one. We'll just do it to this one. Right, we're going to update. I'll close this and magically you now have a viral load and a sodium for the HIV widget. Um, okay, so let me bring this back up. Um, please note that these this schema is determined 100% by this widget. Um, let's see if I can find it quickly. Apologize for not having this open up, but if you go to ESM patient chart and you go to packages and we go to um, generic patient widgets app and we go to source um, and we go to config schema.ts, this is where the schema is declared, and then there's a nice interface that will show you basically the same JSON structure that you would then use here in the implementer tools. So, data, concept label, color, and then the table gets a page size, results name, and then title. Um, and those are 100% determined by the schema of the uh, widget itself. Um, and so you can create any number of these. So let's just on the fly create one more. So let's add We'll call this foo, okay, and then we're going to add in another one of these. Foo, we'll call it foo widget, we will update. And there you go. There you have another widget. Uh, thank you.